for our AutoCAD tutorial number 2, ang i-discuss natin is about relative polar coordinate entry. So, pag sinabi natin relative polar coordinate entry, it defines a new point that is the specified distance unit away from the current point at the specified angle from the origin. So, uh, for example, uh, we need to draw a line using relative for our coordinate system. So, of course, our command line is line. And when you press enter, you ask to enter the value of your starting point. In our example, so we have 2 and 2. Then, press enter. Then, the next is when you ask what will be the value of your next point. Point. So, since we are using relative polar coordinate, so we start our distance with part sign, then the distance or the length of the line, and then the angle. So, in our example, we have at 3.60, angle 33.69. Okay. So, in our example, Okay, try to look at this example. Tignan po natin. Example na to. So, directions. In the table on the right, record, record the relative distance and angle to the next point. Start a new drawing and start the object using relative polar coordinate entry. So, start point nga po natin is 2 and 2. So, yung point to natin, which is dito. So, from start point, ang length niya is... 2.00 So, 2.2 ang magiging sagot natin dito is at 2.00 angle. So, ano yung angle niya? So, tingnan yung mabuti ito at yung Cartesian coordinate system. So, we have 0 degrees, 90 degrees 180 and then 270 and then we have 360 degrees. So, kung titingnan nyo dito from starting point 2, point 2 ang angle natin is 0 degrees. So, ang magiging sagot natin dito, 2.2 is at 2.00 angle 0. Next, 2.3. Since ang length ng line is 5.06, so at 5.06, but we need to get yung angle ng line na to. Okay, ang given is from here. Andun doon. So, meron tayong 165. Okay. So, compute natin kung paano natin makukuha yung angle. Okay. So, for example, magdadraw tayo ng coordinating system. So, ano po sa line? Okay. So, So, ang kukunin natin na angle ay simula dito hanggang doon. Pero sa ating example figure, simula daw dito hanggang doon, ang angle natin is 165. Okay? So, tingnan muli natin itong ating coordinate system. So, simula dito hanggang doon. So, ang, ang angle natin is 180. So, kung 165 hanggang doon, ang angle natin is 165. So, ang angle ng line na to is equals to, okay, correct, 15 degrees. So, magiging sagot natin dito, 2.3 is at, 5.06 angle 15 degrees. 2.4 Ang length ng line na ito is 1.5 angle 90. Okay, very good. Then, 2.5 at 1.94 angle 0 degrees. Then, 2.6 at 3.48 angle 90 degrees. Okay, so 2.7 at 3. So, kukupitin na naman natin yung angle. So, balik tayo dito. 
So, magdodraw lang ako ng line para mag-visualize natin yung ating coordinate system. Okay. So, ang kukunin natin angle ay ang line na to. Yan, na may length na 3.00. So, sabi, okay, sa ating figure, ang given sa ating figure, simula dito hanggang dito, ang angle is 120. Okay? So, ang kukunin nating angle ay angle na to. Simula dito sa 0 degrees hanggang doon. Okay? Kung ito ay simula dito hanggang doon is 270. Okay? So, anong magiging angle natin? So, 270 minus 120 is equals to 150 degrees. Okay. So, magiging sagot natin dito, 2.7 at 3.00 angle 150. 2.8 at 3.50 angle 180 2.9 at 250 angle 270 2.10 at 2.73 angle is 180 then 2.1 uh, so ang length niya is 5.29 so sagot natin is at 5.29 angle 270 degrees. So, itry natin naman sa AutoCAD. So, nag-create ako ng new drawing. Then, i-on ko ang grid line. Anong shortcut key sa ating grid line? Okay, F7 So, to uh, activate your grid line, so you need to press F7. Then, i-on ko lang yung aking auto. Okay. So, draw line or enter command line L. Then, ano yung starting point natin? 2, comma, 2. So, yun yung magiging starting point natin. So, lagi nyo tandaan kapag relative polar coordinate, kailangan nyo isunod yung mouse cursor nyo kung saan direction papunta ang, ang iyong drawing. Okay, example, 2.2. Uh, okay, so, ang, ano nga yung ano natin dito? Point natin. So, at 2.0, angle 0 degrees. So, Try natin at 2.00 or pwede naman at 2 angle 0. Okay, so we have the line na. Then, next point is 2.3 at 5.06 angle 15 degrees at so, tinay nyo mabuti yung uh, command, ano natin, command uh, text. So, at 5.06 angle 15 degrees. Okay, and 3 to 4 is at 1.5 angle 90 degrees. At 1.5 angle 90 degrees. Then, 2.5 at 1.94 angle 0. At 1.94 angle 0. Then, next is 2.6 at 3.48 Okay, sorry, wait. Okay, tama. So, at 3.48 angle 90. 
at 3.48 angle 90. Okay, so, kung makikita nyo, lumumpas na yung line natin sa ating drawing area. So, dito sa ating navigation, so, may meron kayong makikita parang kamay. So, ang tawag natin dito is pan. So, pwede natin i-move para makita natin yung dulo ng ating ginodrawing na object. And then, i-press mo lang ang escape. So, balik tayo sa ating drawing. So, 2.7 so at 3 angle 150. At 3 angle 150. And 2.8 so we have at 3.5 angle 180. At 3.5 angle 180. And 2.9 so we have at 2.5 angle 270. So at 2.5 angle 270. Okay. Example, uh, na-press niyo yung escape. Okay. At hindi pa kayo tapos sa pag-drawing. So, gagawin nyo lang, i-type nyo uli yung command na ng line. Tapos kapag tinanong kayo ng first starting point, itutok nyo lang or itapad nyo lang yung mouse cursor. Tapos, i-click nyo kapag nakita nyo na yung pinaka end point. Lumalabas yung end point kapag merong nakikita kayo na kulay green na square. Then, i-click nyo lang yan. Then, makukontinue na yung pag-drawing nyo ng ating object. So, 2.10. So, we have 2.73. Angle 180. So, at 2.73. Angle 180. Then, tayo sa pan. Yung na natin. Escape. Then, continue our drawing. So, pwede natin uh, to uh, point 1. Okay, pwede na natin siyang i-click or Pwede naman through relative color coordinate entry which is at 5.29 angle 270. So, ito na po ang ating uh, drawing. So, we just uh, draw line using relative color coordinate entry. So, dito sa ating navigation, so we have pan, so you can move your drawing, okay, in any part of your drawing area. Then, meron tayo ditong zoom extent. Pag zoom extent, isuzoom niya to the extent na pita siya doon sa ating working area screen. Then, we have uh, other option pa ng ating zoom. So, zoom window. Wala when we see zoom window, for example, itong part na to, ang iyong isuzoom. Okay, then, zoom extend para makita natin yung buong drawing. Then, we have previews, yung previews uh, na ginamit natin pag zoom kanina. Then, balik tayo sa zoom extend. Real time, zoom all, dynamic, zoom scale, zoom center, zoom object, zoom in, yan, okay, then, we have zoom out. So, kung ayaw nyo naman dito sa ating uh, navigation, so, pwede nyo i-type zoom or z, yung alias nya, then, enter, then, pili kayo if it is all, center, dynamic, extend, previews, scale, window, or object. So, so ang i-enter nyo dito, the value ay yung uh, letter na may naka-indicate or mayroong kulay na blue. For example, window. So, W yung may kulay blue. Enter. Then, for example, isusun natin itong part na to. Okay. Then, zoom, extend, letter E. Enter. Okay. So, if you have more questions, so please... 
message me in my email and then don't forget to subscribe to my channel for an update to our podcast tutorial. Thank you.